The live stream mix on its own can sound one dimensional and lifeless. It's almost like you took the room mix and stripped it of all its energy. Well, the good news is there are three things you can do to overcome this, reverb, panning, and ambient mics. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get reverb dialed in for your live stream mix. Before we get started, we just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Church Sound Made Simple. Mixing sound seems complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Cut the overwhelm by getting access to this stress-free, no-fluff training that will help you create great sound at church. Visit churchsoundmadesimple.com. Well, hey, if we haven't met, I'm Cade, creator of Collaborate Worship, and I'm here to help you create great sound at church. So let's talk about adding reverb to your live stream mix because it's gonna make a big difference. Now to keep things simple, we will use the same reverb that you're using in your main mix. If you're not yet using reverb in your main mix, I have another video on how to get that all set up. I'll include a link in the description. To add your main mix reverb to your live stream, all you need to do is send your effects returns to your live stream bus. So you navigate to the effects returns on your mixer, select one of your effects returns and navigate to the sends tab. Here you'll wanna make sure that the live stream bus is set to pre-fader and then turn up the level to about negative five dB. Repeat this process for all of your effects returns that you're currently using in your main mix. Now keep in mind there are two effects returns for every kind of reverb that you're using. The reason is reverb is created in stereo so you have a left and a right effects return for each reverb. If you set these up the way I recommend, you'll have six different effects returns that you'll be sending to your live stream mix. Again, you can learn about the reverbs I recommend using in another video. You'll find a link to that in the description. All right, here's the last step. Simply listen to your live stream mix and adjust the amount of reverb that you're sending to the live stream mix. If your mixer has the sends on fader option, that's definitely the easiest way to do this. Tap the sends on fader button, select your live stream bus, then navigate to your effects returns and mix appropriately using the faders. This is gonna make a huge difference, but keep in mind the live stream mix is a reflection of what's going on in your auditorium. So you wanna make sure the room mix is the best that it can be. That's what Church Sound Made Simple is all about. You can get access now by visiting churchsoundmadesimple.com. As always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that little bell so we can let you know when the next video comes out and I'll see you next time.